And uh, as a result, training for not being dead, uh, I'm still fairly strong. I think if I had to, I could probably deadlift 500 right now. Uh, I know I've got 450. Uh, I'm squatting in the low 300s for triples. I can bench. Oh, I did two and a quarter for three sets of three the other day. Even with as fucked up as my shoulders are, that's actually quite an accomplishment, I think. Uh, uh, last shoulder injury has really trashed my right shoulder, and my presses are kind of, they make noises now that I don't like. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm just doing some maintenance pressing right now, and I'm doing barbell rows instead of cleans because I'm 63. Now, let me... Let me say this again. I'm 63 years old. It's it's kind of hard to wrap my head around that. Really, 63. I mean, that's it's like your uncles are 63, right? You know, at one at one point your grandfather was 63. But you, 63? This is this irritating. It really is, you know. I I used to do all kinds of physical stuff. Hell, I played soccer up into my forties. I uh, was horseback four or five days a week for thirty years. I uh, did all kind of challenging physical stuff. Got hurt doing it quite a bit. Um. Uh, the, so what limits me now in terms of what I can do as, an, as a 63-year-old lifter is really the result of an accumulation of a bunch of injuries that have occurred, not particularly in the gym, but just during the course of having lived your life actively, you know, on motorcycles and horses and you know, playing sports and stuff like that. And, I, you know, it's uh, pretty much impossible to be 63 and previously very, very physically active and not get hurt. So the primary thing that happens over time, that's happened over time to me in my 63 years is I've accumulated a lot of injuries. And I kind of think that this is, probably the case for most guys in my position. Uh, I don't know anybody my age that hadn't had a couple of surgeries. I've had 11. Uh, I don't know anybody in my situation that's, uh, that's come through this process completely intact. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that really occurs. I think if you're if you're mashing on the envelope like we do, you're going to step outside of it occasionally and you're going to get hurt. 